just so excited for this video. Can't you guys tell? I'm actually, well, I'm excited, but I'm also like, Gloria, who gives you access to credit cards? And like, why? place an order on the Sephora website. My hair's a crazy little mess right now. I just straightened it and I never straighten it perfectly when I'm about to do my makeup or never do anything really serious with it because I'm about to do my makeup and I do all the final touch-ups after I'm done with my makeup. Why I'm explaining this to you, I don't know. What's that girl with the pigtails and the freckles? What was her name again? Penny, Penny Lou? Penny Pee Pee Pigtails Penny? Is it Pee Pee Stockings? Todd, do you know? There was like a movie about her. Anyway, I, I look like her right now because of my bangs and I am apologize for my ratchet pelo. Today's not about the pelo. Today's about the, uh, the haul that I placed. It's not even a haul. It was literally like four items and my total turned out to just an atrocious amount. And then I went ahead and went on Instagram and asked you guys, hey, which bougie foundation do you guys wanna see me review first? This one or the Pat McGrath one? And while I'm gonna review both, this one was the one that you guys really wanted to see. This is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Foundation. I have only seen people who could afford houses for their dogs use this foundation. Why I bought it, I will never understand. Like it's just so, re it's just so expensive. I think this foundation is like a hundred and something dollars. I know. I'll go ahead and tell you the exact amount right now. A hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> Oh, like I got money, okay? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, your girl's pretty well off. I can afford the avocado in most places, but $125 for a foundation? Yo, I'm 26 years old. I'm a grown ass woman, but like, please don't tell my parents I did this stupid, stupid thing. I really hope I bought my correction because this is one of those foundations that I wasn't about to buy twice. Usually, when it's like drugstore went wild, I could splurge it, I could kick it, I could throw it down and buy a shade or two just to make sure I'm working with the correct match. $5.99, $6.99, even $9.99 sometimes they eat nothing. But $120, FOH out of here, dude. Oh, this bottle is pretty. Is, yo, is that seriously all the product I got? La Mer. Where's the rest of it? I got about $20 from the 120 that I was supposed to get. Where's this? Again, please don't tell my parents. I'm gonna go ahead and prime using my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. It's the primer I have been loving. Also, it's the primer my skin has been loving. I've worked with this primer. I love this primer. This primer was not $125. It was actually a gift to me. Thank you, Laura. La Mer, whenever you decide you wanna hook it up, it's, it's fine, I'm here. My address is I'm also gonna go ahead and use my Urban Decay Up All Nighter Spray or P Pollution Protection All Nighter Spray. This is my favorite mattifying spray on the planet. And I only really spray it on my T-zone and like whatever scatters about scatters. But I really only focus it down here these days because it's just my T-zone that gets oily, guys. Everywhere else is just straight cruising or just like chilling with the homies. So again, this is a layer soft fluid $120 foundation. Did I already tell you guys what shade? Oh, why are you liquidy? Are you supposed to be liquidy? Again, I got it in the shade 310 beige. Oh, she's very, oh, 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 it's like she's running from the cops. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to move fast with this. I am gonna use a brush because it is such a runny foundation. Why does that smell so alcoholic? Oh, that smells like day drinking. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, this literally smells like pure alcohol. I don't love that, which is fine by me. I don't necessarily wanna love this foundation. That would really suck for my bank account if it did. Okay, so the match isn't terrible. I will say I could have done better, but it's not terrible. I can work with it. And plus, we're in October now. I'm only getting lighter. We can work with this. Also, all that really didn't go a long way. I'm just spitting the real truth here. So we're moving fast. I do apologize, but this foundation is really drying out quite quickly and it turns from liquid to powder in like a millisecond. So that's why I really am just like a hop, skip and a jumping right along. Okay, so it's definitely a medium, almost sheer coverage foundation, but she's building up beautifully. I only built her up a couple layers, literally just two super thin layers. That smell, oh my God, that smell. But just for the sake of building it up, she definitely builds up. And I think that's kind of like the point of this foundation is it is a builder. Most luxurious foundations are, and this is nothing if not luxurious. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and get you guys a close up on this 
this face. While you guys take a good look at my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and read you the deets and the tails of this foundation. Now, this is from La On the Sephora website, it's $125, which is what I actually paid for it. This is, however, a weightless, natural-looking foundation with a buildable coverage for luxurious long wear. The finish is natural, the coverage is medium. The ingredients, which I'm actually really excited to read. One of the first ingredients is titanium dioxide. I do see some eucalyptus, alcohols. Okay, I, I read the C12, C16 alcohols. And I also am reading alcohol denat at the very end. I love that. I hate alcohol denat. And I knew I was smelling so much alcohol in this product because holy glob, does this have a lot of alcohol. That scent is literally like penetrating my nostrils. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'm not gonna bake because I already feel like this foundation is so, so very mattifying. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my my Rare Beauty Concealer. I love this concealer. This is a more hydrating formula. I didn't want to use a mattifying foundation and a mattifying concealer because I feel like this foundation is actually quite mattifying. Then I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Urban Decay All Night Her Powder. This is just a compact setting powder. This is what I'm going to use under my eyes. And for all over my face, I'm going to go ahead and use my La Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the OG. This is one of my favorite powders. Again, I'm not baking because I just feel like that would be very drying on my skin. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Scott Barn Soleil bronzer in the shade Sicilian Sun. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Milani Trio to powder the rest of my face. So as you can see, I'm only gonna use products that I know, that I love, that I trust. And that way we can really see what this foundation will do. Well, I really wanted to hate this foundation. I really wanted to tell you that it was gross, not worth the money, that it was definitely gross but I'd be lying. And that's not something we do here. Even if we don't wanna like the product, then it's good. I'm gonna tell you that it's good. This is a great foundation. I am going to tell you right now though, if you have dry skin, I don't know if this is the foundation for you because I feel like it was very drying and there's so much alcohol in this foundation that I really, like I have oily skin and I'm kind of like, what did I just put on my face? Like I know what I did, but ingredients wise, like what did I just put on my face? I love the way this foundation looks. This is a foundation you want to wear to like a special occasion. This is a foundation you're gonna wanna probably wear to your wedding. This is a foundation you're gonna wanna wear to a quince. This is a foundation you're gonna wanna wear to something that you want your foundation to be so beautifully photographed in because I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh my Lord, my skin looks magnificent. Like looks ridiculously beautiful. But I will tell you right now, this is definitely not gonna be my everyday foundation. The ingredients in this foundation alone scare me so much there's a lot of alcohol in it and while it's the end of the ingredient list just the fact that it's in it it kind of freaks me out but i am gonna say because it is so pretty i think on special occasions i might have to reach for this foundation and i'm so sorry that i'm literally recommending a 125 dollar foundation but i am gonna leave you with this you don't need it. But if you're just here asking, inquiring like, hey, I want to spend my money on a good foundation. I want a bougie foundation just to treat myself to a bougie foundation. All I wanna know is if it works. That's it, that's all I care about. If it works, this definitely works. Does it cost you a pretty penny? Yeah, but it's got the finish and the formula to back it up. Like it's just not moving. It's not going anywhere. And it's, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, the viewfinder looks so ridiculously pretty. I just really like it, guys. I just, I think it's a gorgeous foundation. I'm so sorry. And also, again, please don't tell my parents. That'd be great. What does this my makeup look like right now? Oh, okay. God. God. <laughs> oh, is that what I look like? <laughs> You're glowing. My face makeup. Good. <laughs> that looks good. Thank you. Mom Cakes, how does my makeup look? Stunning. <laughs> Do you like mommy's makeup? Okay. Tell me, Link. Link, he's. What do you think? Do you like it? Look at mommy's makeup. Do you like your foundation? Oh, he likes it, babe. You like my foundation? Hi. I just look like a head. Hold on, babe. <laughs> They're like, wow, where'd you get those bags? <laughs> How do you like my makeup? <laughs>